Recently, it has come to light that the Department of Health was to receive 294 million kina in the 2024 budget. Of this, they've only received 81 million kina. That's 27% of the total budgeted allocation for the Department of Health. So they're short by 213 million. We are 10 months into the budget implementation yet for 2024. Yet, we have only managed to make payments of 30% to key sectors like health, education. The country quickly forgets that straight after Black Wednesday, there was 650 million kina paid out of Treasury to CONACT PNG. There's a real big issue here that the country needs to be aware of, and that is the total failure in budget implementation by the Marape government. The Prime Minister, the Honorable James Marape, has been running Treasury like a tucker box, using his favorite tool of selective warranty, where he has weaponized the budget to apply preferential treatment to members of parliament who demonstrate loyalty to him. This is not the way to run a country. Because of this jaded self-image, considering himself to be some sort of savior and mogul, the prime minister has absolutely failed to apply equity, a tenet of our constitution, in budget implementation. The 34 members of the opposition have not received their DSIP or PSIP funds. We have been starved of funds. You might think that he's punishing us for having a difference in opinion. But the fact is, he is punishing the people that we represent. He has completely forgotten the sanctity of the mandate given to us by our people and given to him by the good people of Taripuri. The time has come for us to call James Marape out for the incompetence, for the weakness, for the indecisive leadership and oust him as the Prime Minister of the Independent State of Papua New Guinea. The country deserves so much better than the raw deal that it is getting under James Marape. We have to make an objective assessment on Marape's performance as the Prime Minister. This objective assessment comes from the way the budget, the 2024 historic budget of 27.3 billion has been implemented in the last 10 months. The implementation has been woeful, it has been despicable, it has been an absolute miserable failure. There's no two ways to cut it. The way the Prime Minister has been running Treasury like a tucker box and using selective warranting to weaponize the budget is deplorable. I, for one, excoriate this kind of behavior from the Prime Minister because it demonstrates weakness, it demonstrates inequity, and it is illegal. This is unconstitutional. We, as members of Parliament, cannot allow this kind of behavior to continue where we weaponize the budget and make one part of the country suffer and promote parochial interests of a prime minister who is just fixated on empire building and doesn't have the nation's interests at heart. We see that he is front and center trying to do everything in the country. This is a sign that the Marape government is discombobulated. Their days, they're confused. And in short, their days are numb. This September, the Marape government must be changed to have a new Prime Minister put in place to effect the hard reset and save Papua New Guinea. This is the message from the Honourable James Nomane, the Member for Chwabu and the Deputy Opposition Leader.